Justin here from Midtown Comics TV, and we're here with some warehouse employees talking uh, Star Wars. Hi. Hello there. <laughs> hey. Say hi. Hello. Hey. So, how about we start out with just some basic introductions? Uh, so, my name's Kristen. I work for the marketing department, and we'll go around and we'll say our favorite Star Wars movie and then our least favorite Star Wars movie. So, tons of choices there. Uh, so, for me, my favorite Star Wars movie is Empire Strikes Back, and my least favorite movie by far is Attack of the Clones. So, so there's going to be a trend here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, then I will pass it on to my left. Hi, I'm Mario. I'm the eBay specialist, and I also film this stuff. Uh, my favorite Star Wars movie, of course, is Empire. Least favorite, I am going to say Phantom Menace. Hmm. Hey, everyone. My name is Mike Staub. I am the web coordinator here at Midtown Comics, and um, I help out here on some of the video stuff as well. Um, I was key grip once. Um, it was, it was a, a long it was time a ago. Shining day, shining day in my life. Oh. Um, my favorite Star Wars movies. I'm going to be the odd person out right now, um, and I'm going to say my favorite Star Wars movie is is Star Wars. Uh, you know, the original Star Wars. You might call it a New Hope now, but I've been corrected by many people from the 70s that say I'm wrong by calling it that. But no, the original Star Wars movie to me is uh, is my favorite, and my least favorite, if we're not including the Christmas special, is <laughs> um, I have to say Attack of the Clones. Uh, that one I can't get through um, as frequently, and the Sound of Music segment is kind of, uh, yeah, it's too much. And it's coarse, and it's rough, and it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. So it's informative about sand. I, I, I also, I, I feel like we should we should right now close close the, de the debate for the Christmas special. Just take it off the table. <laughs> it's okay, off the table. Take it off the table. Just, oh. just like Lucasfilm, we will not discuss the Christmas special. <laughs> We're wiping it from our memories. It doesn't exist. Christmas special is dead to Act us. Like Even like though it has day. B. Arthur in it. <laughs> so B. Arthur, Arthur is Vader. <laughs> Luke, you're not gonna make so it. So are we doing me or are we doing her? <laughs> no, it's uh, we'll pass uh it to you. my name's Rich, I'm the sales manager, and uh, my favorite is episode three, unpopular opinion. Least favorite, the original Star Wars. Sorry, Mike. Wow. It's a complete film. You know what? You don't need any sequels. Yeah. I'm Chris. I'm a data specialist. And uh, my favorite movie, I'm just going to stick with Kristen on this one. My favorite is Empire. Yeah. My least favorite is Clones. Least favorite is Clones. Uh, my name is Ernie. I work in purchasing, uh, one of the buyers. And uh, my favorite is definitely Empire Strikes Back. And I can't decide if my least favorite is uh, Episode 2 or Episode 1. I just, they're kind of, uh, episode two might be worse, but they're both really just not great in my opinion. But they're there. They're a part of continuity. and uh, They exist. They exist, and they're part of the story. <laughs> that happened. So. They're movies, and someone made them. <laughs> <laughs> Good talk, guys. I don't know. There was a lot of CG. I don't know if a person made them or if the computer it had did. to be at least one person involved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like that one robot who, like, in the middle of a se sequence, like, sings? He's, like, talking, and then all of a sudden he goes... Mm -hmm. That's an episode two. Didn't cut that. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Might be in a deleted scene. Maybe it's in the dream world that I live in. But, you know. Alright, so we know that Star Wars Celebration is this weekend, so hopefully we'll get some new information about Episode 9, the final movie in the Skywalker saga, so we're going to be closing it out. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of talk about some, some new trilogy stuff. Um, what are your guys' favorite, favorite characters from the new trilogy? Like, who do you like? Who do you feel positive about? Um, no one. I don't feel positive about any of them, but I do <laughs> enjoy the idea and Kylo Ren's character. Mm. Wow, yes. really? <laughs> yes, I, I, I like the idea of somebody that's so obsessed with what came before in terms of Star Wars that they don't want to let it go. They want to build their own thing and they want it as close to what it was as possible. Oh, sounds like a Star Wars fan. Yeah. <laughs> that, sounds like, wow. that sounds like everybody who didn't like The Last Jedi. <laughs> that's oddly fitting. Sorry, I had to take the guy. I had to take it. Get rid of it. Um, there you go. Okay. Uh, I think I, I don't know. I like I like Poe Dameron a lot. I, I think mm. he's a very likable character. Um, I don't know. He's got a cool outfit. He's got a cool. I mean, my favorite original character is Han Solo, so I feel like he's the most Solo esque. You know, he kind of does his own thing, 
right? Swashbuckler. Zone. Yeah, the swashbuckler. Right. He's like part pirate, maybe. He swashes buckles. Um, but yeah, I definitely felt the most positive about him. How about you? I, I like Poe. Um, I kind of, I, I kind of don't feel like he's uh, Han Solo s though. When it comes to the Force Awakens, the Han Solo role is really kind of taken up by Finn. Yeah. In that movie, and Poe is uh, Princess Leia. He's the one who they have to go and rescue. Mm-hmm. But. Uh, um, and he's like beautiful. That. But I do, I do like, but I do like Bo. Yeah, he's a handsome guy. <laughs> and he looks great in a white dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we see? Uh, that's that's my goal for the last movie. I want the awards ceremony. You know, like in the throne room, yeah. but with Poe Dameron in the white dress giving medals. <laughs> Chewbacca I'm, still gets no. <laughs> no <medal. laughs> Why did they give Chewbacca a medal? Because he's a Wookiee. So? He's a dirty Wookiee. Listen, they, That's racist. they erased canon for him. Haven't we done enough for Chewie? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I like uh, I like Ray as well. I think uh, I think Ray is a good character. Um, and might not be a popular opinion, but I like her. I, I don't think there's anything I dislike about Ray. I just find her to be blah. Mm, she's like toast. Yeah, she's, she's right. just kind of there. <laughs> better than bread. You don't eat the toast. It's better than bread. <sighs> but I, like Poe and everybody else are like the sandwich meats in that, and then Ray's just there, <laughs> not really doing a lot. Can't have a sandwich. Spends right. the whole second movie just nowhere near anything. She's training intensely. Um, I just <sighs> want to point out already. that <laughs> Luke Skywalker in the original trilogy does literally nothing. Up it's until fair. Jedi, he loses every battle. He's super whiny and vanilla. Mm-hmm. And then when he shows up in Return of the Jedi, like full Jedi, like, yo, what's up, guys? I'm a Jedi now. I know I missed all that stuff. He's got a so with hands. Rey, it's like, let's just robot. do that yeah. all again. I'm just hoping I get <laughs> that same sort of story arc for her. That I really like um, Guns Blazing. Like, I like Kylo. Like, a lot. like, I think Kylo Ren is one of the most interesting characters introduced mm-hmm. to Star Wars. For those reasons, because it's like almost like a meta commentary. Right. Yeah. yeah. But um, I like Finn. I just like the idea of the day in the life of a stormtrooper. Even though you know, every time there's a fight, he tries to run away or fly away or that which is more you know. Han Solo esque. Yeah, yeah. Because Han just always He's wants there to get himself. away from the fight. He's like, and they're both former Imperial workers. Yeah. You know, so it's like Finn's just mm-hmm. like, I'm out of here. I want no parts. Sure. I want no part of your fight. So. My favorite character is Luke Skywalker's saltiness. <laughs> <laughs> Him in that Last Jedi is just like everything I felt about that movie, just in one go. He's just like, I don't want to be here. I'm gonna force Ghost out of here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, just kill me. Just yeah. kill me now. It's fine. I'll go. I'm ready. Just fade away. Just ugh. I can't do one more movie. <laughs> He could even be bothered to be at the actual fight at the end. (laughs) (laughs) I'll Skype it. Yeah, exactly. Or Skype and disconnect. (laughs) Disconnect. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with the... I bought the shirt for this. Um, I'm actually going to have to go Poe Dameron as well. I'm a sucker for a pilot. I'm also a sucker for Oscar Isaac. I think he is great. I think he's one of the most underrated actors in Hollywood today. Deus, uh, Ex Machina is a movie everyone should see. And I want him to play Doctor Doom. Okay. So, <laughs> Poe Dameron is awesome. I love Poe Dameron. His comic book is awesome, which you can get at MidtownComics.com. And <laughs> Link he, in the description yeah, below. That's right. <laughs> and... Um, he has a very cool looking X-Wing. So, um, oh, and BB-8's his droid. Like, come on, yeah, let's BB-8. do this. Yeah, yeah but what? BB-8 has no loyalty to him, aside from saying you own, you, you took his jacket. I don't you know. You took his jacket. I don't know. I, I read some pretty interesting fan fiction. <laughs> no, it's no, 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 the wrong round table. It works. <laughs> 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 well, that kind of uh, segues oddly into my next question. Which droid would you Lord. most like to date? <laughs> <laughs> IG-88. What K2SO? Four long. Second, <laughs> second for IG-88. <laughs> yeah. I'd need 3PO, just saying. He, he's on top of a lot he of stuff. He seems like a very okay. selfish lover. Uh, he's he, he's fluent in over six million forms of communication. True. I'm sure oh, some wow. of them are has physical. To be okay. He can order, he has to be he can order they never, complicated things, but, but they never was, taught him how to love. <laughs> that, that's true. All right. So my question is, uh, for episode nine, the title's supposed to drop this weekend um, at Star Wars Celebration. So, what's your best guess? Just throw it out there. Mulligan. <laughs> Star Wars Episode 9 Mulligan. Star Wars Episode 9 Revenge of the Fallen 
No, that's a, like that's a different movie. A Revenge of the <laughs> Moon. Vengeance of <laughs> Revenge of the Vengeance. The Dark of the Sith. Revenge of the Ewoks. <laughs> uh, I, I never expected the last one to be the last Jedi. I don't know. Well, it's the st- first Jedi. It's Star Wars. Avengers is on Blu-ray right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you still use a Blu-ray player? Yeah. Uh, so what is this? 2012. <laughs> Well, the, there was a leak, and the alleged title is Star Wars Skywalkers. No. So, do, do I don't like I don't that. like that, because technically there's only one. There's two left. There's two. There's Leia, who's... But, but, okay, so, but if you never lived your life with that as a last name, can you call yourself that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. In terms of, in terms of lineage, why not? Lineage-wise. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think that that's... I feel like that's a weird title. I don't know that they would title it that. It doesn't go with any of the other titles no. mm. at all. The Phantom Menace. The what about uh, what about Balance of the Force? Wasn't that one of the rumored titles too? That's, that's not I, bad. That's it's what not I bad. Think it is. It, it, it makes Skywalkers. more sense than Skywalker. Skywalker yes, sounds definitely. like uh, Skywalker sounds like something you'd wear on your feet while you're skateboarding. Mm. <laughs> like it's like I bought a nice pair of Skywalkers the other day. Vans makes them now. They really right. sound like uh, shoes to me. Yeah, they do sound, sound like <laughs> shoes. It does. I mean, Star Wars that, episode. Nine, End Game. <laughs> that's, that's, the other, no. that's the other movie you got. I was gonna make that joke. I think Star- somebody <laughs> else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Take that one. Star Wars <laughs> Episode Nine: Electric Boogaloo. Yep. <laughs> I like that one. Mm-hmm. I think if, if 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 you call it Skywalkers, then you're. It doesn't make sense because you're 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 almost placating to the fan base to say, hey, look, we we really are gonna get it right this time. We really are gonna fulfill your dreams and show you what you wanted to see these other two episodes. So it's Skywalkers. It's all about Skywalkers. All about Luke and anybody else you want to classify as a Skywalker. It's a bad move. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, like it. it. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Well, I hope I hope they don't do that. But Abrams did say that this movie, he's. His focus is closing nine movies, not just closing the trilogy. So. I, re- I remember when he said that, and I remember saying to myself, I really hope so. Because my favorite part of, um, I think it's it's Force Awakens, when, when Ren says to Hux, maybe I should suggest a clone army. Hmm. You know, it's just a little nod out there to say, hey, look, we, we know you guys, kind of, we know some of you love those movies, and some of you hated these movies, and some of you like these movies, and some of you like these movies. So if they pepper in enough callbacks, mm-hmm. nobody can be nobody can be upset, nobody can complain. It, I feel like... They're they're already kind of setting up that it's it's a closure point for the whole franchise, or not not for the franchise, but for the, for that Skywalker story. I mean, The Force Awakens, you know, has a large plot line and storyline about Han Solo. Mm. The Last Jedi has a large plot and storyline about Luke Skywalker. Mm. It stands to reason that the original intent, and I think from the beginning, was so for episode, about Chewbacca. <laughs> was for episode 9 to have That's a large okay. storyline and plot point revolving around Princess Leia. How they do yes. that now so, in a post-Carrie Fisher world, I, I don't know. But I think that that's kind of was that had to have been the original intent. So I have, I, I, I have a question, then we can move on to the next topic. I'm, I'm sure you want to move on to the next topic. But, okay, so do you think that her passing really forced them to change the direction that Last Jedi went at the last minute. Supposedly, a lot of it had been filmed. Okay. Um, I don't know how true that is or how much they wanted to put that out there to kind of put people at ease about it. Right. Because people were definitely going to be weary of it. And I know she had said that she doesn't want to be done the whole CG route like they had done with some other characters uh, whose actress had passed away. Um, I, I feel like they definitely had to change some things and again this is just speculation but they they would have definitely had to change some things yeah. the movie was not far enough along in right. production in order mm-hmm. for it to not change things but how much they had to change i i don't even know it could have been it could have been a lot or it could have been only a couple of things true but i think there's definitely things they would have had to change i think this situation reminds me most of um something in a different universe so sorry to bring up something that's not star wars in this conversation but when you look back at The Dark Knight Rises, um, Heath Ledger sadly had passed away before they started filming um, the third Batman movie in the Nolan universe, and they had to make some hefty changes to it. I think if Lucasfilm and Star Wars is intelligent, they can look back at the mistakes that were made due to the fact that they couldn't have the Joker in 
um, Dark Knight uh, Rises and figure out how the best, what, what they can do or how they can use the footage they have of Carrie Fisher to one, pay her the respect that she's mm. deserved, mm. two, figure out how to still tell the same cohesive story without having to uproot everything and, and in the end, not let your movie suffer for it. Because I think what ends up happening is you want to be respectful to that, uh, to that life. You want to be respectful to someone, but you also don't want to uproot what episode nine was supposed to be and change it too fundamentally because then I think you might lose what would m potentially make it great in general. So I hopefully, hope, I, ho I think, and the way J.J. Abrams kind of operates, J.J. Abrams operates, to my opinion, from an area of respect. He takes things that we're familiar with and kind of gives it back to you with a fresh coat of paint and, and some lens flares, but it's like, <laughs> but no, but all in all, all joking aside, I really do think that J.J. Abrams is the type of guy who has a lot of respect for the stuff that came before him, and especially when you're dealing with something as gigantic as Star Wars, you know, the one complaint, the biggest complaint about The Last Jedi was that it wasn't respectful to what the fan base wanted, and whether or not you think that's a good thing or a bad thing is neither here nor there in that situation when J.J. Abrams is so respectful. So I feel like you have him in the, in, in the helm. I think he's going to give you what he can with what he has. I think J.J. Abrams makes weird decisions with sequels, though. Like, his first movies are good. Like, that first Star Trek was really good. Mm -hmm. You know, they did the second one and put in Khan, but he had a different alias and stuff like that and just made un weird changes just to, like, make them. You know, I mean, that's why I get nervous about Star Wars. It's like he nails it on his first go, but then if you ask him to come back, it's kind of like... What happened? <laughs> you know, that's why you don't see J.J. Abrams do a lot of sequels. That's why you don't see him do a sequel. He's always like one and done, one and done, one and done. <laughs> and there's a reason why Disney probably like backed up the truck to him to be like, we don't like uh, the money truck. Like, we don't like where this just went, you know. <laughs> what were you doing? What, were, what weird stuff were you planning for this episode two and three of this trilogy? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Because the, the Ryan Johnson stuff wraps up so many things in, in Last Jedi to the point where it's like, what am I looking forward to in this next movie? Mm -hmm. Rebirth. <clears throat> yeah. well, I'm he's serious. Just, he's just I, I think I, I think I think the, the, the blank slate sort of that is left at the end of The Last Jedi is one of the strongest things that that movie has done. Now we can have a third... Disagree. We have a third, <laughs> we have a third movie. We have a third movie in this trilogy now where all, all bets are off. You we have don't no know, idea what it's going to be. We're, we're in completely uncharted territory because he already did sort of a Return of the Jedi-esque thing at the end with mm -hmm. Snoke and with, with Rey and, and right. Kylo Ren turning on Snoke. Yeah. And we've already done the sort of end of Return of the Jedi and it also did Empire Strikes Back in that movie. So it, where are we now? We're, we're somewhere where we don't have any map for. Right. So now it, like we're back to a Star Wars that's wild speculation as I far as like what it's going to be Another important part of this is that, sure, this is going to be the end of the nine movie tri trilogy <laughs> tri whatever nice. um, but it's not the end of Star Wars like we're getting shows we're getting well, we have shows we're getting more shows another trilogy we're getting two more trilogies two coming. more trilogies right, there's a Ryan Johnson trilogy there's the one from the, uh, the Game of Thrones folks <laughs> mm -hmm. so I think as much as this movie will put in a lot of work to finish the story that it's been telling it also has the work of Opening up the universe, right? Because they need to introduce so much more. Yeah. Well, look at that. Look at that scene in Last Jedi, right? When the kid gets the Rebel Ring. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what that is. Yeah. 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 That scene yeah. in that movie is, this is we're we're creating something new here, and um, you know I think, I think I hope that Episode Nine wraps anything that needs to be wrapped up up, and uh, I'm excited for a new for new stuff. Mm. I mean, I, I, you know, the EU, the extended universe and expanded universe or whatever, it lasted for so long and so many people found so much great about that. And I loved some of those stories. Yeah, some yeah. of those stories are really great. So great. And Disney is picking the stuff that works, that doesn't create gigantic plot holes for what they're building. Um, and I think with an open and clear slate, you can do a lot. Yeah, but it's like, all right, we're already looking forward to this next trilogy. Like oh, there's the the kids, who, the kid who gets the ring, and it's the the whole new Jedi thing and all. But there's still questions from this trilogy not answered. Sure. Yeah. Who was Snoke? You know, who are the Knights of Ren? Who, who care? But that's the thing. Don't don't show it to me and just Snoke. be like it's Snoke. nothing. I think the, the original trilogy who was, though who was Master Sifo Dyas. 
Snow, yeah, yeah Snow. The, the original trilogy was really masterful at world building without actually explaining yes. things. Right. Yes. Like the whole thing was like that's why the extended universe, mm -hmm. the expanded universe, was so huge. Exactly. Right. Because there were so many gaps that they left. And, like and they think, they would tell you stuff, they wouldn't explain it, and then people would write a book, a whole book knew, about this guy yeah. or that yeah. friggin' droid or the ice cream machine guy. That's exactly what Snoke is. Yeah, yeah, it's just a piece of the lore that they don't. You'll fully get a book explain. in like four years or like yeah, ten years. Book. But he's <laughs> Sith. Where did these Sith come but he's from? Not he's a not a Sith. He's not. But a how do you know he's not a Sith? We don't. We don't know because they didn't tell us. <laughs> guys, guys, but let, let's let me let me let me, let me let me hit the table. Let me yeah, don't hit the table. Um, <laughs> let me throw this in there, because uh, obviously, as before, I said, and I was unfortunately challenged by Rich. Um, the original Star Wars is my favorite of the tril of the of the movies, and why is it? And this is part of the reason why. You just know Darth Vader's a bad guy. Mm -hmm. You don't know anything about him. You yeah. don't know anything about his backstory. And quite frankly, I don't care. Because he's a bad guy, and he's a great villain, and he sounds really cool, and he looks amazing. He's like this space samurai wizard from, from, from I guess, Tatooine with a giant red laser sword. None of it's explained. And Lucas had and no... And a crazy wheeze. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, essentially, he's essentially a guy walking around in a, you know, like a... He's a robot, robot <laughs> samurai <laughs> wizard from space, <laughs> but guys. Then, but you're also going on the pretense because we've all seen all these movies now. True. But when yeah. that movie came out, people were saying, like, episode right. four? No, 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 there was no episode four. Say episode four. Yeah, yeah. Didn't say no, Star Wars. that was yeah. added on whoa. later. They whoa, added, they added whoa, whoa. <laughs> we are going to get <laughs> such hateful comments. I'm going to educate. Don't admit that you knew that it didn't originally say episode four. Well, to be fair, you can still just start in the out. middle. <laughs> still starts in the middle. But I don't it think it's a it story did. that starts in the middle. Yes, it was always kind of put out there as this is the middle of a story. Because again, you you don't need to be told that no, I mean, once you're yeah. going into the movie. Okay, there's all these characters that have obviously yeah. long backstories that we're not learning. It about. also literally yeah. starts in the middle. Like it starts with a a, a firefight oh, yeah, so, on yeah, a spaceship. Yeah, yeah. The with the people, yeah. No, they're setup. running around, running things to each other. You right. don't know what's going on, but you know it's intense. Deep in a war, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. you don't find out anything about the war ever. They never yeah. tell yeah. you yeah, the no. original trilogy. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're like Empire's bad. And we're we're good. We're yeah, taking you, down yeah, the bad. You, you 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 get that. You get that in the vibe. I mean, you watch that movie and you instantly understand who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. This is true. And and it, it, it's all it's all it's all imagery and it's all um, just you know you can tell how the characters are dressed, how the stormtroopers march in. It's like these are yeah. you know these guys are clearly an analogy for for bad guys from the real world. I mean, they're even yeah. called stormtroopers yeah. for crying out loud. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it, it, it's apparent in that movie, and and they don't have to explain everything. And I think that that there's there's aspects of that that they do in the new trilogy, that they do in the Force Awakens, that they do in the Last Jedi, where it's the same idea. There is there's just characters who are bad who don't need a backstory. And yeah, I'm talking about Snoke. It it. it it doesn't. It honestly. It it doesn't matter to me where he came from or who he is because he's not the point. Kylo Ren is the character who you want to know more. Who you really want to know more about because he's yeah. the one who's driving the action. Do you film. though? Do you Definitely. really need to know more compared, about Kylo Ren compared to Snoke? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Compared well, to Snoke, he's Han's kid, and they explain what happened. Right, but he know? got a backstory because he's the character you're supposed to care about. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's because he's tied to the original trilogy. He's tied to those characters. Well, right. I would like That's to what throw wants. a counterpoint out here because. I think, you know, Kylo has been sort of a, I call him a sub-villain, you know what I mean? He's like, like the First Order is the villain and he's kind of like the mini-boss, like he's not necessarily, he never really presents himself as like a Vader type character, an, emp uh, an Emperor type character. Emperor never looked at Vader and called him a whiny kid. He's all powerful, <laughs> but he's not all powerful and he's not all villainous. Mm -hmm. So m going into this last movie, do you think he's going to be the villain, or do you think they'll, you know, put somebody yeah. else in that position? No, I, th I think I think the what we learned at the end of Last Jedi is that he wants to be that ultimate big bad, and that was his power move. So now, what we need to see now is him at absolute power. Like this is my role. I run this. How about you guys? What do you think? You you, I feel like you could go you could go either way. He could end up being the big bad. And and you know, just riding that role until the end of the movie, or he could start out the movie as the big bad, and he could see some kind of redemption by the end of the film, like, like his grandfather. Like his grandfather. I, I mean, if he, if, he true, if he truly wants to be like his grandfather, <laughs> um, you know, he's got to redeem himself at the end. I've got a theory that 
or like a hope um, based on one? the conversations <laughs> <laughs> based on the uh, conversations that those force so well. the force time conversations that Ray and Kylo have mm-hmm. in Last Jedi Raylo they uh, <laughs> they each sort of bend towards each other a little bit as as the, as the conversation goes on so I have a feeling that one of them will be a bit too trusting in the other. Ray becomes a Sith, and Kylo yeah, becomes I, I, the I feel like there's that's <laughs> like there's something there to that, like because they've Star Wars for so long portrayed everybody as like good, e- good or evil. Like in the original trilogy, that was very much just laid out uh, with imagery, and yeah. they didn't even mm-hmm. need to explain it. Mm. The prequels really set up like these are the bad guys, these are the good guys, and now I feel like the new the new trilogy is muddying it a little bit. See, but Especially think, with Kylo well, and the way that he wants to be this ultimate bad guy, but he doesn't seem to carry that in his heart. I, like he's not the bad guy. Right. Mm-hmm. I think all of that was really brought into the mythos during Clone Wars. Yeah. Because yeah. every episode of Clone Wars is about some question of good evil and there yeah. you know, and a lot of characters in Clone Wars un- come to the understanding that there is no good or evil. Right. There's mm-hmm. a middle path and you kinda have to dip back and forth. Mm-hmm. Well especially for them, I mean they're in the middle of a war. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean the whole the whole idea is about making really hard decisions yeah. because True. you're in wartime and like they're not always the best decisions, but that you're striving towards uh a <clears throat> Poe Dameron in Last Jedi. <laughs> yeah. I was more like yeah. <laughs> and he makes some really terrible decisions. Yeah. You guys go to this casino place. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> I think though I think Star Wars plays with color a lot um, and as you can see in the first in the uh, I guess it's not yeah the first movie in this trilogy so in The Force Awakens Rey is essentially dressed exactly like Luke is mm-hmm. and in the second movie she wears like gray yeah. gray almost as though she is conflicted like actually representing the conflict that the character has there I, is no conflict yeah exactly <laughs> but see what I would think I think and I don't think this will happen, but this is what I would. This is what I would love to happen. Ray is so powerful, and I could see that her getting seducted by the dark side because she, because the dark side's all about not not control, not letting yourself control your own power and kind of eating it and living in the power. And it's all about that that game. It's like no, no, no. Embrace your power and use it. And you, we've seen Ray do this a bunch. So I think it would be so cool. And they probably won't do it, but they would be so cool if she falls. Yeah. And the one yeah. to bring her back is Kylo Ren. Yeah. And that's yeah. his final act of redemption to mm. be like his grandfather, which is really what he's looking to do. That's my ultimate. Like, that would be like it for me. That, that, would, rather, that would make for I'd a rather, good movie. I think yeah. so too. I'd much rather have. Would everybody die in a ship crash. Yeah. Aside from that, I want. <laughs> I want it's, Ray. It's episode 10. <laughs> I want Kylo Ren to be the one to take Ray as as his apprentice. Oh, mm. that'd be cool. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't need him to go to the light side. Let everybody just go full dark side. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Then the that would definitely set up two trilogies. It sets up your next trilogy. <laughs> it sets up these kids and these other Jedis and these other Force sensitive people. Be like, oh, these guys just all fell. This is all taken over. We need to do something. Well, this is true. I, it I sets up a better story. I, I, I guess, but it's like a bit dark, but I can see it. You're you're rooting for the bad guy. <laughs> oh, they're so cool looking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think I like there's the uh, something to be said kind of Chris going back to your point about the prequels and it being very you know these are the good guys these are the bad guys I actually feel like the prequels did a lot of showing both sides because you have you know the Jedi Order and you're like oh cool these are the good guys but they make really bad decisions Mm -hmm. you know they don't support where they should support you know they're you know against relationships and against love and you know you as the viewer are watching that like hmm maybe they're Maybe this isn't the best way to do it, you know? Maybe this is why people fall to the dark side. So then fast forward to you have this new trilogy that's coming out, and you have these very gray type characters where, um, you know, Rey is very strong and very aggressive, and even though it feels like her heart is in the right place, that she's, you know, very impulsive and, um, you know, which are typically like dark side leaning things yeah and mm-hmm. then you have you know Kylo who comes from this really light family you know and starts to go down this um, this dark path but you kind of see both sides of him you know you're mm-hmm. not really and then in the last movie you have Luke and Yoda discussing about how the Jedi Order was such a terrible thing you know and that it, it you know as well-meaning as it was it did a, a lot more harm than good 
in the long run, and you know, I think both sides, both the you know Luke and Yoda representing the you know the Jedi Order and Kylo are both sitting there saying, let's burn it down. Like yeah. what we did before didn't work. So yeah. we might see something cool emerge out of this, where there is no light or dark side anymore, or they redefine Jedi and Sith to mean different things uh, moving forward. And I, in the I think universe. I think that's, I think that's actually very likely. I think that I mean. Whether or not you like The Last Jedi, this movie is going to follow in the plot. Like, it's going to follow the plot events of that movie. It yeah. has to. To make it not follow the plot events of that movie would, would be ridiculous. So, it, it, it has to follow that idea that, you know, even Yoda says that the Jedi Order is, is not something that we need anymore. Right. You know Sacred what I mean? Jedi like, text. it's. it's <laughs> the Sacred Jedi text! <laughs> page turners! Page turners, they were not. But of course, but, but also, don't forget, Yoda knew that Rey had already taken the, yes. uh, taken the text. Took him. Took him's not a word. I will Yoda knew. Took him. Took him. Took him. Took him. Took him. Took Took him. 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 Um, that Rey had already taken the Jedi text. That's why he let the tree get burned. Yes. Why he let Luke get upset about it. Because that's the push that Luke needed mm -hmm. in order to do what Luke needed to do at the end of that movie to help the 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 um, I wanted to call them the rebellion, but the resistance. <laughs> yeah. um, and and, and it, it's it, it makes sense that this the next film would continue that idea, uh, at least for some people, that the Force is not really going to be about good versus evil, but it's going to be about balance. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and not necessarily that one person has to be good or one person has to be evil. Maybe both sides need to come closer to the center. And make out. <laughs> Possibly. Okay, well, Possibly. You, you, you bring up a good point. <laughs> yeah. Because it's been sort of a the weird theme the in these movies. <laughs> like, are they into each other, Kylo and Rey? Are uh -huh. they... I, mean, I still think that one of them is going to, like, I, I could see um, Rey believing that Kylo would come to her aid. They, they, had, they had that connection. They fought by each other's sides in the last movie. And I think that one of them might be able to think that they have a closer relationship than they actually do. Well, is that I mean, naivety, or do they actually have that relationship? I, I, I don't know, though. I don't know, because Kylo does... Turn on Ray at yeah, the end yeah, of that throne yeah. room fight. So that kind of already happened. But I think that I, I feel like that's kind of a, the red herring, though. Like I don't think there's down the line be... there would be a bigger betrayal. Uh, there was a lot of red in that room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Red I know. And there was herring. a lot of fish. There's <laughs> <laughs> always a bigger fish. Um, I don't know if the shipping of Kylo and Ray is gonna happen. Um, I think they're like they're trying. They're I don't know what they're doing. Um, but I knew, you know, everyone probably shipped Luke and Leia uh, after episode after A New Hope, and we saw how that turned out. Yikes! Um, so I think honestly, I don't know. And there were some looks at the end of the Last Jedi, and there was a moment that they gave Poe and Rey together. Yes. If you want to get that. into a, if you want to get into a relationship thing, which the movie does not need it, doesn't. if you ask me. It absolutely no, doesn't. No, it doesn't need it. But if we're look just, at, look yeah. at what they did to the If we're going based on looks, yeah. what about that look that uh, Poe and Finn oh, had? Yeah. 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 Force Awakens? Yeah, I, The Force Awakens, there was definitely some of that. It was a but, much more intense yeah, look. Yeah, but there was definitely... <laughs> and he gave him his and jacket. And it wasn't just like, you're going steady. Yeah. Like, not just the jacket. Wear my Letterman jacket? Wear my Letterman jacket. We're going steady. Jacket looks great on you. Well, I guess that whole, the Ray kind Kylo look kind of freaked me out because when the when Force Awakens first came out, I was watching it, and in in the extended universe books, um, Han and Leia have twins, mm -hmm. right? Jason and Jaina. So when I first saw this movie, I was like, okay, Jaina, she's you know brown hair, brown eyes, natural pilot, strong in the Force, great fighter, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and, and great with technology, yeah. can build stuff. I was like, okay, that's right. And then you meet Kylo, and in the books, Jason Solo is sensitive. Um, his his force powers that he can talk to animals. He's like very soft, and then he winds up turning to the dark side and becoming a Sith. And and if I may, I think he also wears really high waisted pants and no shirt. <laughs> <laughs> 
He has a partial lightsaber, if I if I remember correctly. Like Mace Windu. Um, yes, like exactly. Would, would Jason like, Swallow memes be better? Than... Like like Mace Windu, available on MidtownComics.com. Link in the description below. Smash that link. But yeah, Shameless so plug. when mm-hmm. I first you know saw the movies, that was my thought. I was like, oh okay, these are they're they're twins, they're brother and sister. Mm-hmm. And then to me, it was that theory was validated again because you have them in one scene you know force speaking to each other Mm -hmm. and then the next scene it's Luke and Leia force speaking to each other and prior to this movie Luke and Leia were the only people that did that and I always assumed it was because they were twins they shared Mm -hmm. such a bond in the force that they would be able to do that so when I saw that in in The Last Jedi I was like oh they're definitely twins and then you get to the end of that movie and there's this weird romantic tension and I was like um, but, but then also, you're like Luke and Leia. They weird, have weird romantic, romantic tension. tension. Also, if yeah. we're gonna talk about like being respectful to Carrie Fisher and to the character of Princess Leia, it's hard for me to believe that she had twins and just like forgot one somewhere. <laughs> I was just about like, to yeah. say that. Didn't I was, we have? Didn't I? Didn't I push out two children? Yeah, um, but it could have been purposeful. You know, I mean. See, I think if this we, one, the the prophecy says we must strand her on a sand planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. If, if you if you grow up having been let's say quote unquote abandoned by your birth parents mm-hmm. I believe like the last thing that you would want to do once you popped out two kids is go well oh, that one we can definitely <laughs> right, right, right. Right. I mean, it. this one stays I only wanted the boy anyway never mind never mind the fact that like we send we send Ben off to Jedi school with Uncle Luke to go yeah. learn the ways of the Force. That goes south. <laughs> but Let's we're just, just we're just gonna way. leave Ray on on the sand well, wasteland. Hey hey, hey don't even kids. give her a we're, name. We're just not gonna leave her. we're not gonna immediately run out and grab her so that yeah. he doesn't find out it's his sister and go to there for some <laughs> I, bizarre reason and slaughter her. You know what I mean? Like I I, I feel like at this point the ship has sailed on. Ray being the child of Princess Leia and Han Solo. I think I think yeah. it's it's ninety percent, ninety nine percent. What if it's like unlikely. Anakin though? He didn't have a father. What if she just the virgins? And what no. if she is their child? That Good, would be worst case but she scenario. just materialized. That- on Jakku. Absolute worst case scenario for Ray's lineage. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Absolute worst. Yeah. I think it's actually, and you know, I thought for forever, um, before seeing uh, Last Jedi, I thought she was Luke's abandoned daughter. I think Luke, when I, I originally thought that when he'd kind of like given up on things, he left her around, uh, away or something like that, making Luke even more unlikable. Um, <laughs> Which, you know, which is kind of what they were trying to go with. Oh, yeah, exactly. Which they were trying to go with. Also, like, Star Wars, like, she kind of looks like she can fit in that family. Like, her her facial triangle matches Luke's. It She kind of looks like um, Natalie Portman to a degree. She can kind of look like Carrie Fisher. Like, you can trace the lineage down to where you could be a Skywalker. But I also like the fact that this is a story about people who come from nothing mm. and mm-hmm. essentially save the universe. And I think there's something about that in Star Wars. So I don't know. And like we also have to trust that Kylo Ren was being honest with her when he right. said, "Your parents are no." Yeah, I mean that, that's you the know? thing. The, the whole I don't know. Ray being a child of Skywalker that still could possibly be true. Um, there's there's no there's no reason that we should believe what Kylo Ren is telling Rey True. because he's telling her what he needs to in order to get yeah. her to do what he wants exactly. her to do like that's that's what he's doing that's right. a, and that's basic dark side, dark side moves yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. like I, I i don't i think a lot of people got upset because they heard that story in the last jedi and they were like well how can how could she be nobody like it's she's got to be related to somebody and i want to know the explanation and how she can't be nobody because then there's no there's no backstory no background on that and and it's like well yeah but who are you hearing that information from exactly. and it's kylo ren yeah. <laughs> but another point like, is, why do you um, trust him she shouldn't trust him i don't trust the, that uh, evil character in a the movie kid with the, ring. The, the kid with the rebellion ring in, in ring last boy. jedi ring boy we don't have to assume that his father is somebody important. Yep, like, that's, no, that's the whole point. That's the whole point, yeah. the whole point. Yeah. The whole point yeah. of so, that. Yeah. Which she could easily fall fall in line with that too. But there could be no, could be nobody yeah. in her parents. Do but, you yeah. feel that 
her um, specialness in, in any way, shape, or form was so heavily foreshadowed in Force Awakens through every conversation she had with every other character in that movie, which was every time she had a conversation, it was basically about, oh, you're meant for more. You must be meant for more. You're looking for family. They're not coming. You're going to where your new family is going to be. I think there was so much put upon her and, and that character in Force Awakens that you can't help but think, okay, there has to be a payoff right. here. Yeah, sure. They can't just tell me well, she's a nobody. And why does the lightsaber speak to her? Yeah, exactly. Luke's, yeah. Luke's, yeah. Luke's yeah. lightsaber. Luke's Anakin's. Li let's let's Anakin's, let's yeah. let's give credit Anakin. where credit is Anakin. due. Anakin created and built that lightsaber. But how did they, they also even get that lightsaber? Again, like, uh, just another question that some, was brought up. Somebody went to Vespin. <laughs> Somebody went to Bespin. Somebody went to Bespin, took a walk so, down in the basement. Somebody also <laughs> somebody also has Luke's severed hand. Yeah, I do. If anyone yeah. finds a severed hand <laughs> in the please? bowels of Bespin, can you please return I, I, that to Luke Skywalker? I bought it on Space like, He's back. looking for it. He doesn't need it anymore. <laughs> Uh, maybe he had one of those medical he bracelets. Dead. He probably would uh, want it back. <laughs> just what? It back. So, so, yeah, if, so if Luke comes back as a Force ghost, will his hand come back as like the this thing from the Adam's hand? <laughs> Why didn't the metal hand fall from where he was standing? I mean, like, if that were metal the case, hands then become part of your Force Anakin ghost? would have looked like a mess. Okay, then why went? Why in Avengers Endgame when Bucky disintegrated, did his arm not fall off? Hey, none of us has seen Endgame yet. <laughs> I mean, Infinity War. <laughs> I said Endgame. Um, because I, my theory on that is that it's, you're not just wiping that person from no. existence at that moment, you're wiping them from the slate of history, so anything that is involved with them goes with them. But the memory remains. Yeah, it's a Metallica but Metallica song. always said that that would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, I no, nothing his, nothing his else matters. You know what else? I'm unforgiven. But it's sad, but true. <laughs> it's gotta just ride the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Elizabeth and Christopher. Like no, no, be, the, be, the, be the master of these puppets. I, I want to re rewind and just bring up one point that bothers me the most about Can we fade to black first? But, yes. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's the fact that Kylo Ren has Vader's helmet in Force Awakens, and he's looking at it, he's like, I'm going to finish what you started. Wouldn't conversation number one at the Jedi Temple will look be like, all right, listen, everything you know about Vader, I'm going to tell you what really happened here. And, like, do you think Luke no. told everybody what no, happened? No, because no. I, I think the whole point, the whole purpose behind Luke's arc in Last Jedi is that he tried to emulate the original Jedi Order in every way, shape, or form. And it didn't work. But wouldn't exactly. it be the thing to say, like, hey, here's this guy, he was the ultimate evil, you know, but the power of the light side and following the Jedi Order and stuff is what brought him back. I would also like to point out that when Darth Vader turned to the light side, he died. This yeah. is true. So well, he died because I mean, died, look, he didn't because die because he turned no. to the light side. Luke took the helmet off. He <laughs> you know, shouldn't have took his helmet off. If you're a ten-year-old kid hearing the story, you might yeah. interpret it. Well, that you way. could be like, sure, all right, he yeah, turned actually. to the light side, and this other dude who was a full Sith electrocuted him. I chopped off his hand, by the way. My bad, you know. <laughs> my like a bunch of other stuff, and it's just like that's how he died. Well, I mean, yeah, Luke chopped off his hand, but it was already a robotic hand. It was already a robotic so. hand, but, but then you got. It's not like you really hurt him. You got the Emperor overcharging him and stuff like that with his. Electricity and stuff. Yeah, power at so. 150%, sir. But if you, <laughs> but if, you think, if you think about it too, though, Rich, um, he might have told him. Hey. What's what's to, what's to say that Kylo trusts anything that Luke said to him? Because Luke tried to murder him in his bed. So like, there's another thing too. You're you're right. Like that's something that definitely probably should have happened, but right. it could have. And Kylo might just not trust. Luke at all because yeah. Luke legitimately tried to kill him. Listen, well, I, I, Luke, Luke, Luke didn't try to kill him, but I guess but from a certain from point a, of view, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, though. Yeah, no, yeah. you know what I mean. In yeah. Kylo's Kylo's point of view, Luke tried to kind of, yeah. I mean, if Kylo if Kylo hears one story from Luke, right? Yeah. But then he goes and he's got his free time at the Jedi Temple. He goes over to Space Internet and he looks up some guy's blog about the true story of Vader. And he's like, wait a minute, maybe everything Uncle Luke told me wasn't true. Maybe, maybe Vader being bad was good. Mm. You have to assume. Alex. Look, we're we're all Star Wars obsessed, and we have our favorite characters and whatnot. There's a reason that they make Darth Vader toys. People are into Darth Vader, so you have to assume that in a real life situation, just like people are into certain politicians for whatever reason that they're into them for, they may just find sympathy in in that person who was this and then became this and then became that. Hmm. What's the consensus on people knowing whether Anakin was Vader or not? 
It's another I, unknown. I, it's unknown. a yeah. good point. It's a good question. I don't necessarily and Luke know. Luke running around was... with the name Skywalker and not knowing anything well, about it. That I mean, honestly, once you open up the world and say this is what really happened, yeah. that's when all those questions come in, yeah. and you're like, wait a minute, how could this kid have the same name as this famous person on this one planet that is the only planet in the whole galaxy that seems? Turns to be out, Skywalker's outside. the most common last name. <laughs> yeah, it's like Smith. It's just a real it's common Smith. last name. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. It's it's. It's Luke Skywalker? I thought his name was Lurk Skywalker. <laughs> All these years. No, no, no. We're talking about Star Wars. <laughs> oh, not Star Wars. Not Star Worms. What's a, what's, worm. what's a Star War? <laughs> just, just one. Just one war. <laughs> so is, is this the end of the Skywalkers then? Well, that would mean that Leia and Kylo would have to die. See, so I, I look at this last movie and I was like, okay, there's one of two options. Either Kylo turns to the light side or dies. That's it. Or turns to the light side and dies. Yeah. But so, mm -hmm. so for him, probably, and, you know, knowing that Carrie Fisher is, you know, passed and is no longer with us to film all these amazing scenes, um, I think it would be smart of them to, you know, off her in the movie as well, you know. It only makes sense. Well, so I mean, we could see that. We yeah, could see yeah. the actual end of the Skywalker line. And, and I mean, again, if it follows The Last Jedi, the whole kind of idea of that is you don't have to be somebody special. You don't have to be a Skywalker. So if this movie continues with that, and then all the Skywalkers are gone all of a sudden, and the mantle of protector of things that are good and right in the galaxy no longer falls on a Skywalker, now it falls on somebody, a nobody. But a nobody who can become a somebody. Yeah. So I think Kylo Ren's making it. Ruled out Skywalkers as a title then. I mean, unless they're using that as a title to, to bring closure to what it. What if it's the end but of I, Skywalker? But I just yeah. I think aesthetically that it won't be the title of the movie simply because it doesn't work with any of the work. other titles yeah. of Star Wars episodes. It, it just it doesn't lock in with any of those. I mean, all, all of them have kind of a vibe going for them, yeah. um, regardless of the movie's quality, they all the titles make sense. That's true. See, if it ends up being Balance of Force, I think Leia, Leia and them could die. I think Kylo has Kylo has to make it for the next trilogy. Because that's the whole balance part. You know, no, with I, good, there has to be evil. You no, know? but I, I, think, I think with good, there has to be evil is the old way, the old mm. Jedi way of thinking that we kind of have thrown the rule book out on. That the Jedi had it Ren wrong. Kylo Ren threw the, the that book right. out. Nobody else has so done he, that. He he threw out the, Kylo Ren threw out the rule. You have to let the books get taken. Like <laughs> Kylo Ren threw out the books on the dark side, and Luke and Rey throw out the books on the light side. Even though she still has them, like and they write. The, well, books here's the together. thing: if 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 <clears throat> Luke throws away that book, they write fan and, fiction and, together. And Rey, <laughs> Jedi fan if fiction. If Rey follows that, mm -hmm. like all right, you know, Kylo and Rey are like. Screw it, we're not following these old rules and stuff like that. But then, like, Ray dies, you know, all of it's irrelevant. You know, all these new rules mean nothing then because you're just resetting it again, you know? I, or if you get Ray turning to the dark side with Kylo, you have your two Sith, and then you have all these Force sensitive kids that bow and make this new Jedi Order. Hmm. May, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like Kylo dying in this next movie is far more likely than Ray dying. I think so too. Yeah. Well, like I'm saying, my thing is I think neither of them should die. I think she should turn to the dark side. Mm. You know, she's untrained. She has no one to show her the way or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Excellent. But you need to plant seeds for this next trilogy. You need to do something. And if you just wipe everyone off the board, then it's just like, in a year or two, we're back here again, just like, but what is this? Are we certain? You gotta set up, new new certain, you gotta set up this stuff. Are with we another certain? R word. Sorry. Resistance, rebellion, the... Because it's like you look at the running out of words. You look at the previous trilogies. You know, Return of Jedi was the end of the story. You know, Episode Three was the lead into the original Star Wars. You know, but I mean, it was they, the end. It was the end of that trilogy, too. right? Yeah. But you had the end point of Jedi, and it was like, okay, we did. It. We told our story. It's over. You know, now you're in this situation where it's like we have more stories we're telling. Mm -hmm. So now you do need to start setting things up. Yeah. But you are know? we are we 100% confirmed that the next trilogy that'll happen after this one is definitely going to be something like is this trilogy going to feed into yet another trilogy or is everything out here extraneous that it's going to be 100 thousands of years in the future thousands of years in the so, past. So, so the two trilogy rumors, yeah. the first one's the Ryan Johnson trilogy that yeah. will be about those 
the Force Sensitive Kid with the broom in the ring at the at the end okay. of Last oh, Jedi. Yeah. So that is okay. And that's the rumor. rumor. The rumor. The that's the rumor. That's what I wanted. That's, yeah. that's, that's the rumor. rumor. And the second oh. trilogy is the Old Republic, which is what I want. Yeah, that's which give me Revan and Malak. I mean, if it's a Game of Thrones guys doing the Old Republic, I mean, that would be so. That's awesome. That's pretty rad. Force um, of my lord. But look, I mean, I must strike you down. <laughs> I feel like I feel like the next trilogy, while it will probably tell its own story, that's not like it, it, the chronologically next story, mm -hmm. uh, next trilogy that will probably tell its own story. That's not part of the Skywalker saga per se. Yeah. But I think some of those characters will return I in think that the trilogy. World, like the Resistance, the First Order, because I think it was such a jump from the Galactic Empire and the and the Rebellion, right? To like the same but different kind of army it would yeah. be a bit I think it'd be strange if they just, just dumped those yeah. and came up with two new armies I again. mean some some characters would definitely come back and, and you know even even a character uh, even a character being being dead could, can still come back in some form I mean have you ever heard of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise <laughs> doesn't sound like a story any not. Jedi would tell no, it's not a story yeah. a Jedi would tell you it was so powerful <laughs> and on that note I think we'll wrap it up real quick by just giving quick 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 predictions of alright if a trailer drops tomorrow mm -hmm. what do we see in it oh, good lord what are we gonna uh, see some sort of large scale battle yeah definitely um, probably in space Emotional shot of Leia. Yeah. I like emotional shot of emotional Leia. shots of Leia. I, I, I think you might not even see Leia in the trailer. They might think, save that to keep like, is she in this movie or not? No. I think we'll see. No, a no I think they gotta they gotta show her. She's the only link to the to the original trilogy. Uh, Maybe a little show, uh, technically show, in that universe. Because if you show Luke, then you've given away your hand of what you're doing. You haven't given away your hand. Yeah, you, he tells yeah. you. You know, I'm gonna see you again. You know what I mean? He tells Kylo Ren this. Yeah, but they can't show us that in that first. Trip. You're going in knowing he's cast, knowing he's gonna be a Force ghost. Sure. I want a real quick clip of a smirking Lando. Mm, Ooh, yes, because you know he's going to be in the D. last movie. Billy yeah. D. Williams! Billy yes. D. Yes. So, <laughs> every time. Oh, that's not that one. I, I want to say you'll definitely see a spaceship. <laughs> and, a, and probably a planet. Maybe a lightsaber? A, a planet that has the same weather condition all over it. <laughs> Like rain or snow. Jungle. Isn't that how most planets form? <laughs> just one weather condition? There's a leak that in this one there's an all water planet. Didn't we? Did we? Like kind of Naboo? 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 No, not Greedos. Not Greedos. No, it's, it's the, uh, the, it's, uh, the, the, the people. The, no, it's the squid people. It's the squid. It's the, it's the squid. Yeah. It's the, the, the yeah. squid people and the. All right. Tessic and the, we're getting off topic. Trailer. Yeah. yeah. What are we seeing in this thing? Uh, maybe Finn using a lightsaber. No. 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 I think he's no. done with the lightsaber. Yeah, I think so. The yeah, lightsaber is not his weapon. Yeah. I, no. Maybe she takes him as an apprentice. I think you're no. gonna see. They're probably going to show a, a Ray uh, Kylo Ren confrontation there mm -hmm. for a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, however, that looks face to face and the sweat will drop yeah. from one. Chewbacca in danger. Do you think Phasma <laughs> comes back? No. No. Yes. We're done with that. Oh. We're done with that. I don't know. I don't know. They, she needs to come back so they can know. knock they her into a star like pit. She's this. She's they just showed the eye. It's they over. Showed her eye. Show her eye. It's over. She is this trilogy's Boba Fett, though. Yes. <laughs> well, you, I, you hope that she would have been, but she was such a. I, I mean, no. I, I feel like no. I feel like she absolutely was. Yeah, yeah Boba Fett didn't do anything as, in the first trilogy. As unceremonious so cool, an end as. Although I, I honestly, I would argue. Boba that, Fett, where? Where? I would argue <laughs> that, that the death of Captain Phasma ah! was a much better death than what Boba Fett got. He didn't die. Like at least she got <laughs> to die. at least she got to fight. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's, well, that's true. The thing. You don't see her die. She gets knocked no, off she gets the platform. Knocked off. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Which well, means no, she's coming back. In that know? case, like, then Palpatine how do we could know? be alive. I was gonna say Han. Yeah. Yeah. Han could be alive. Yeah. 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 Han got. Listen. Hold on. You think you're gonna hold get on. Captain Phasma <laughs> got knocked off a platform. Han got stabbed through the stomach through a lightsaber, thrown off a, a balcony, and then that planet exploded. Yeah, Han's okay. gone. Han's so gone. When you no, cut he's, off... He's very resourceful. Yes, he's, he's, very very resourceful. Very resourceful. he's very resourceful. He's very resourceful, <laughs> except for being very dead. When you cut off somebody's arm with a lightsaber, it instantly Caught polarizes eyes. the wound so that they don't bleed to death. When you stab somebody through, directly through, doesn't that technically cauterize everything around it? So yeah, but nothing's I right. just want to Scary draw attention show. to the, uh, the human I just want to draw attention to the Moss Eisley Cantina scene where 
Ben Kenobi cuts the arm off of uh, yes, this what's is his true. face, and well, blood goes everywhere. He was old and out of practice. <laughs> he was old and it was a real practice. bad cut. That lightsaber was on its last leg. <laughs> All right. Batteries. Uh, I guess we'll wrap that up here, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in, and tune in next time for when we do an Avengers Endgame uh, roundtable conversation. So stay tuned for that. Oh, bye. Bye. Say, may, may the force be with you. May the force, May the force be, be with, with you. you. May Go the see force Avengers be with you. <laughs> link in the description below for a bunch of stuff. There's a whole bunch of links in the description below.